Buenos dias, we're Magical Chicanos, and, and we, we came, came from, from a galaxy, galaxy far, far away. Today we are here finally <laughs> reviewing Star Wars Season of the Force. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like in the Star Wars universe, we have missions to complete. We are going to look at food, merch, and get on some rides. Vamos, let's go, join us. Andor. Andor. Who knows what we'll find? I'm looking forward to it. Let's jump out of here. I'm a big doof. I made reservations for a California Adventure instead of Disneyland. Whoops a daisy. But while we're waiting out here, take a look at Pixar Fest banners that are up. They are really cute. Huh? Look at the artwork. I personally enjoy the uh, red panda turning red banner and also Coco. Because I completely forgot that Coco was uh, Pixar instead of Disney. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's amazing. So these characters, the way that they're they're put together, I thought it was like just a like a one single one dimensional piece of vinyl or something, but no, it's actually different pieces and they're and they're like puffing out. So it's very 3D looking, and I love it. I mean, look at you how happy she looks. We're here at Smoke Jumper's Grill to get some early breakfast. What a treat, because I found a plant-based option for Pedro. Look. The chorro burrito. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chorizo. <laughs> Let's dig in. You know, it's a good size. Look at that. All plant based, all for me. The flavor, it's a little bit on the salty side. Oh dear. But it's not annoying. It's not like, you know, I can't take another bite because it's so annoying dealing with the saltiness. You could just notice it's a little more salty than you want it to be, but it's not so much that you're like, I can't have this anymore. I will buy it again, not often, but when I'm here and I'm hungry and I want something quick for breakfast, this is my guy right here. And so this cheese. would be your second choice, as yeah. apart from the Impossible Breakfast shawarma. From, yeah, the shawarma. That the, is your favorite thing in the whole wide world. Spicy maple syrup, come on. We're supposed to come with mandarins and then they didn't give it to us and so we had to go back and get the mandarins because that's also Pe Pedro's favorite thing. And I got the impossible, no I didn't get anything impossible, I just got a breakfast sandwich. Looks like it's got green chilies in there. Ooh. And they gave it They gave it to me upside down. <laughs> Thanks smoke jumpers. <laughs> uh, hash brown, egg, green chili, uh, some cheese and ooh, it's a spicy sauce mm. of some sort. Is that a poblano pepper? It's better than a McDonald's, Mc whatever. And the fries are not bad. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. This gets a three. The sauce is really good and it's not overly spiced. It just has like a subtle hint of spice. Monorail. Back to you, Pedro. What would you rate this burrito? It's got the good taste. It's got the nice look. You know, as good as it's gonna get when it comes to a burrito. And it doesn't fall apart while you're biting into it. The smell, mm, it's the two. We came over to the cart at the Grand California Hotel, but it's closed. They open at 12, but guess what I found? It's a cake. I'm trying to check for any imperfections. Everything's like accurate. Even the bottom of the ship, I mean, they went over, they went, beyond detail even the back side oh my god i'm speechless well you I'm can be here all day can't you yes this is i can literally 
<laughs> the one thing I don't get is why do other YouTube channels don't talk about this part of the season of the forest. I mean, this is amazing. This is a piece of art. And no one talks about it. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it should be a crowd of people. <laughs> Give it some time. Now having to look at the new thingy. What did it look like before? <laughs> I could have sworn. Was it the exact same thing, just different colors? What I understand is a new paint job. A refresh. But it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? To I me? Just, it Maybe just... it had more red. She said, Something's different. I don't, I don't know, know what it is. What it is, it's Tomorrowland. It's always moving. It's moving and grooving. It's constant change. Because we can't ever keep up with tomorrow, right? Because then tomorrow will be today. Mm -hmm. So Star Tours looks like it's a minimal line right now. And I think Pedro's about to venture into it. You can count me out. I, I am not doing that. I'm going to the new Star Tours adventure. Wish me luck. May the force be with you. I think I found the popcorn buckets. He's going to be so surprised when he comes out of that Star Tours. I saw him freak out over the Millennium Falcon, so he's going to get the Millennium Falcon. Okay, so I just got off Star Tours. The ride was amazing. And out of the three characters, I got Ahsoka, which was really cool. I got to see Ahsoka. Um, she sent us on a mission. We saw the space whales. It was really cool. So I walked out, and guess what my wife surprised me with? A bag. <laughs> <laughs> she got me the Falcon, the Millennium Falcon uh, popcorn holder. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to mess it up. But she surprised me with that gift. And then I got her a uh, t-shirt, a Star Tours t-shirt. We'll, we'll look over there too with it. Yeah, well, I'll show you. I don't want to unfold this. But yeah, and then she got me this. This is my favorite ride, and they have it. It mm. is his favorite ride. Every time he goes on by himself. Now I look like a mechanic. <laughs> wow. So this is the Star Tours crop top, and this is the one my wife bought. Wow. I love it because it shines. Yeah. It's so shiny. And it has a uh, like a stitch, embroider. some embroider of the Star Tours emblem. It's really cool. I was uh, this close to buying this one. Look at this. Look at that. That is cool. And yes, this is a great. And then it has a really nice print, Darth Vader right there, looking all menacing. This is awesome. This is cool. I it's guess a little childish. Yeah, it looked like people are gonna be asking me where the bathroom is if I wear this. <laughs> and out of all out of all this, this is the one I chose. Because it's simple, it has everything you need. And it protects you from the sun. Yes. Oh here's a bucket hat with all that cute stuff. Oh it's really like that's like made for water, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Aww. <laughs> little balloon death star. Oh, oh, look at this one. They're so cute. The next one. Oh, I can put my smoothie. That's cool. I don't like the art. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. These are not the droids you're looking for. I was like, kind of sure you'll buy a Melrose so over there in River. Yeah. Something. Here we got some cool frogs. They'll, nice. get, they'll get dirty quick. Oh, yeah fun but I think it's time to head over to Galaxy's Edge to take a look at the droids and maybe search for Sabine. Did I say it right? Her name? Sabine. <laughs> That's what I said. Maybe Ahsoka. We're finally here at Galaxy's Edge. Let's go eat. Looks like the line for Olga's is long as usual. So, <laughs> welcome to Sabah oldest gambling game in the galaxy. If you believe the stories and rumors, a certain star pilot was able to win that big old hunk of junk around the corner off of a single hand of supply. 
Now, the point of Sabak is to be the closest to zero. You can get to zero by adding up the green and red cards right over here, as well as the blacked out zero cards. The closest to zero, you win. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing. Continue like normal. This Continue is our last normal. and final round, everybody. Yes. What is Chewbacca, it, Chewbacca and Ray, I think. Oh, and Ray? And Ray. I'd rather say hi to Ray, honestly. Too much hair. Are they going bye-bye? Yeah, he's like, I'm out of here. I'm going to give him a high five. Docking Bay 7, going to try some new foods. And it would open. Oh. I got it? No. All right, check it out. Oh, they look like they're buddies. And I got the Fusion Kafka Hummus Garden Spread. Look at that. Wow. Are those space balls? Go with yours. All right. Yours. I will try mine. These are new items, the fried chicken bows. Oh, they're soft. They're like little soft pillows. That smells amazing. Really? The sauce, the spicy sauce is sweet. It's like an after sweet. Mm -hmm. So after the spice hits you, then it's like, oh. But then the sweet kind of calms it down. Like, oh, okay. It's fine. But I love these bow buns. I'd give it a two. I'd give it a two because the spice is lingering in my mouth. Mm, it tastes. Like, I didn't want it to linger, but it's lingering. Let's get started with mine. That's going to be a little different. I have to make a bite. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to put it all together. Look at that. It looks refreshing, especially in this hot day. Mm. First thing that you taste is the cucumbers. Very refreshing. There's a little bit of the spice in it, but not spicy. And it's not doughy, too. This is not doughy. It's good, good texture. This is doughy. Yeah. But isn't it supposed to be doughy? I guess. I'm trying to peel it out of my teeth. Mm. I give this a uh, three. It has a good smell. Nice. Um, it looks beautiful and the taste is really good. So this is my first time eating inside Docking Bay 7. It's hard to like keep focus of things because I'm seeing like everything everywhere. There's like pieces of fruit and like hanging proteins, fish and a bunch of junk all over them. The place, which makes sense, it's supposed to look like that. But as I'm eating, I'm just like seeing something new at every turn. It's kind of overwhelming my senses. Uh, I'm gonna take the one over there tomorrow. <laughs> the Avatar. Well, That's the thing from um, Return of the Jedi. It's big. I have never been in this store in my life, in here, ever since it opened or whatever. At all. Not even during the opening. I didn't even know this was here. I thought this was like the where you get your lightsabers. But I am huge on Star Wars creatures. I am so into them and I love them and I want more of them in this in everywhere. And so looking at this wall, I'm so excited to see the creatures. I love I don't know what it's called. But to see this on the wall is fantastic. Which one? The big abominable snowman. Oh yes, yes, I know. Do you recognize this one? Oh, 
a show. He's a he's a bounty hunter. I am no Jedi. <laughs> Don't look at me. I love it. I love it. <laughs> First time out here being on planet, you know. Oh, do you like it, Lufa? Yeah. You like it? A little shy, but you know, he's like the little he's like fellow over here. <laughs> he does run away from cool. Chewbacca, you know, because of course, you know how he doesn't want to end up much. Yeah, he huh? doesn't want to end up much, yeah. you know. <laughs> but you know, every time he sees that head, I'm like, oh, hi for Chewbacca, you know. Yeah, <laughs> sweet little baby. <laughs> She's been wanting to watch these things. Oh, oh they're being yeah. Oh, yes, you're a perfect droid angel. I know. Be your introduction to a BD droid. Can you please stop that? Come here. Come here. Ah, oh, yeah. Very nice. Good job, Rex. Watch your antenna, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yes. To all sides. Wow. Wow. Yes. Ah, oh, what a showman. What a showman. Very nice job. That was the most adorable experience in my life. I just wanted to cry because they were so cute, dancing around. Oh, but man, the way they moved, Pedro, so cool. While we were looking for Sabine, we weren't able to find her, but we were able to find, oh my God, they're together, Ahsoka and the Mandalorian. Looking. All this meeting Star Wars characters and avoiding Kylo has gotten me thirsty. So I got this shell toast sludge. Well, we got it without the coffee. Yeah, it's we like had a, enough caffeine this morning, so we are good on coffee. It's like a horchata, but it's green. a pandan flavored horchata. So we couldn't say no to horchata. Oh no! <laughs> oh, your face. Nobody, nobody loves a paper straw the way I love paper straws. I say that so sarcastically, because this is probably the worst drink to have a paper straw. I love paper straws. <laughs> Let us pray. Game over, right? <laughs> Do the do the Pedro. <laughs> Look at this. I give this a three star chef's kiss. Oh my god, this is amazing. This this is dangerous. Okay, this is like my 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 tongue is. <laughs> I can't even. I'm like happy. I want to just have a fiesta right here. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. It does. I just want to try it with the coffee now. I think I'm it does it. Sad. It does it right, the ochata. Mm. So it's got of approval of the Chicanos. Yeah, this, this that's is good. This is a magical Chicano approved drink. Yeah. yeah now I got Boba Fett over there. Everybody we're but Sabine. We're surrounded by characters. There's Chewbacca, Ray, Boba Fett, and these little droids. You got some stormtroopers over there with Kylo. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know where to go. This dude's on a mission, look at him go. Oh no. Let's go follow this guy, see what he's up to. No, Boba, they're not worth it. Hello. They still over there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many troopers did you guys see? I only saw two. Two. I think I only saw two. No Kylo? No Kylo. Okay, and then Boba Fett went that way. The bounty Yeah. He just kind of passed. He, he was avoiding them too. Okay, I think they're going away towards. They're going far away. Thank you. I think I'm gonna get a closer look. Yeah. Good, good luck. luck. May the force be with you. You too. You <laughs> then me too. <laughs> I thought it was Sabine because of the hair. Oh. Who was oh. that? 
We're about to go to Rise of the Resistance. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. This is your final call on board. We got a three pack of the ube beignets from from the mint julep bar for three for 549 i believe oh i'm sorry i have to shake it around a bit it's snowing you can already see the bright color coming out of there monogram oh okay here we go Oh, I'm surprised how... Um, I heard this stains your teeth. It looks really good. It smells like ube. It's sweet. And then you get that root taste of the ube. Like as it's a root or whatever. Are my teeth colors? A little bit <laughs> on the bottom part of the teeth. So when you bite into it, it's sweet. And then when you get in the mid chew it's like this funky like oh funky taste and then it's back to sweet again your uh your lips are turning purple oh no my lip yeah, i'm edge, so cold on the edge mm. oh no no ducky oh no 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 oh boy all right here we go just gonna jump in. Flavor is good. It's not weird. I tasted some weird ones. It's good. Doesn't doesn't um, diverge as far from the original in flavor wise, but it's enough that you can notice some difference. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. Check who I found. It's pretty cool. It's like you gotta rub his little Buddha belly. Make a wish. Oh god. We came back to the Grand Californian Great Hall yeah. to take a look at all of the desserts they have at this dessert bar over here. We came early in the morning and then they were like, oh, we're closed until a certain time. So they open at 12. So we're gonna go see. And I didn't even realize that you can buy the buckets here. This is like to the public, so you don't have to come to the park to get a bucket, a popcorn bucket of the Millennium Falcon or Jabba the Hutt. You can have it here, right here, right now. There's the Wookiee cookie, macaron, oh. They're like the ones that little Grogu eats. Oh, it's alright. Millennium Falcon chocolate lollipop. Whoopie cookie. Whoopie, whoopie cookie. Whoopie cushion. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is really cute. They have lightsabers, pretzel sticks, too. Oh boy, this is tempting. What is the cookie behind you? Oh. Yeah. Cookie, it only comes with the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket. Oh, it comes with that. Oh, darn it. Are those supposed to be like caber crystals? Uh, sure. They're, they're just face wraps. <laughs> this is really cute. They're actual lightsabers. Yeah. Crystal sticks, right? Yes, it's a chocolate. Oh, oh that's I think that this one's is, the best. This is little you, do you like that one the best? Yeah. This is Bell right there. Oh, I'm not. We are at the Galactic Grill getting the Wookiee Parfait. I have high hopes for this dessert. Look at that. It's called cinema. <laughs> Let's dig in. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Da -da -da -da. It tastes like Mexican cake. I'm gonna try to get in real deep in here and 
so I can get like everything all at once. Like that movie. It's like something brown under like, oh, like a cake. Oh. Really was craving chocolate today. So this kind of helps satisfy that. Can I have the belt? Oh, it's white chocolate. Being what it is, I'd give it a three. It's got all the factors in it. It looks great. It smells like chocolate. And it tastes like chocolate. I can't like, like undo. I need to hear this review because I saw this online and I wanted to see how My, it sucks. It's good. It's good. Okay. Really good. She's doing a rating. Love and love and it. it's nice. it's cold. So if you like cold chocolate, that like that a pudding, pudding, yeah, it's that's is that, is that exactly what it tastes like. So. There's like a saltiness to it. <clears throat> I don't know where that's coming from. Sea salt always goes well with chocolate. Chocolate lovers, this is dangerous. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna really enjoy it. I think so. I think you'll love it. Let's play catch up. So, what do you think of season of the force thus far? I think you should drink a lot of water while you're trying all this food because most of the stuff from season of the force is amazing. So, this is very handy when you're eating something like this or their Star Wars burgers or anything in Star Wars. It's amazing. I forgot about the polystarch bread at the milk station. I guess it's green and it looks like some light phyllo dough kind of bread texture and uh, something sticky on the side of it. Don't know what it is. It's a filling. Is it a filling? We're about Maybe. to find out. It looks like Hawaiian bread. Yeah. I'm back. I need to see what you're trying now. What is this? Oh, there you are. <laughs> so this is a polystarch bread. Poly, poly starch like a concha. bread. It's like, like a concha. concha yes. yeah. Oh, there you go. I love you. All right. Let's At least I think. Enjoy let's it. Enjoy it. Let's, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. oh my God. <laughs> it is like a concha. Is it a filling? Um, does it? Okay. I don't know. I don't think it's got. It looks hollow. Yeah. Enjoy oh, it. thank you. Let's watch your. That was the second time those kids came around. Looks like a cave okay. in uh, Star Wars universe. All right, it's giving punch up plus like cheese Danish vibe. Interesting. This is about the rosca. Ustedes saben lo que es. Tiene sabor de rosca. I rate this uh, a two. Okay. The presentation wasn't as good because it was wrapped. It tastes good. It smells really nice. And um, the flavor reminds me of a rosca, which is... Is that where they have the little baby in it? Yes. <laughs> they have concha toppings too, uh -huh. along with the with the dried fruit. Uh -huh. That's what that glaze kind of reminds me uh -huh. of. So it has all that stuff. Okay. So yeah, it's like a little tiny rosca. All right. We had a great time today at Star Wars Season of the Force at Disneyland. And we are so looking forward to Pixar Fest that's coming up right around the corner. But we spent the whole day here. We're very tired. If you want to catch the action at Disneyland, come down April 5th through June 2nd. One last note to add, thank you all so much. All Chicano community, all Mexican community, every Disney adult community that's out there, anybody who's watching, we so appreciate the watches, the likes, the shares, the follows, the the con the comments that you all make really makes our day and we hope that we make your day a special one after a long day of whatever you're going through out there. We're all in this together. Did I did I quote that movie? <laughs> we love you so much guys. Thanks again. See you out there. Y gracias por todo el soporte. Que la fuerza esté con usted. They cancel the fireworks. How's your feelings? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> we waited here for like 40 minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, look There's what that not got. even a little bit of wind.